This restaurant behind me has only got two stars on Yelp, and we're going to find out why. Welcome to the MASH. Before we share my experience, let's get into some reviews. The first one here comes from Nicole D, and she was the first to review. And it was a one-star review. She claims the service was absolutely awful, and the food was even worse. She then goes on to say her pizza was inedible, the pepperoni was processed and cheap, and then goes on about the server smoking by the patio and not washing her hands. I mean, that's pretty gross if she didn't wash her hands. Our next review is a one star, and it comes on from TR. They complain about the horrible service and a 20-minute wait time to get a drink. Also, lots of dishes covering the tables, and the pizza tasted like it was two days old, apparently. Our next review is another one star from LD. She says it was absolutely brutal service and she hates writing bad reviews, but here she is writing a bad review. <laughs> so she's worked in the service industry before, so she's um, experienced and she can complain about the sogginess of the dill pickle pizza. She then goes to talk about the communication and how busy they were and they could have communicated better. And then how the guy was saying, excuse me, like 12 times, but she still felt the need to leave a one star review. And here we are onto the review that brings it from a one star to a two star. We've got a five star review from Shane L. He starts off with uh, calling out Nicole D from the first review, saying that she's a sad person and should eat at home. He then proceeds to tell us how much he loves this place and how dope the patio is. Thanks for the review, Shane. Okay, now let's share my experience. The first thing I'd like to address here is the parking, or should I say lack there of it. It's also pay parking, so if you can't find a spot on the street, watch out. You're going to have to pay for parking here. So it was lunchtime when I popped in, and it was empty. So you know that's never really a good start. It's never a good sign when the restaurant's empty, especially at a lunch rush. But let's go from here. So the manager on duty was also serving. He just wrapped up with that table he was trying with when I walked in and came over yes, and greeted yes, me right away. Good, man. You not today. I gotta work still. I got a little bit, but I heard the pizza's good here. So I want to try the pizza. I try not to eat every day. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I'll start with a glass of water with lemon, please, if possible. Sure. Do you have um? What do you guys have for soft drinks? Uh, we like to take Pepsi products. Pepsi. I'll take a diet Pepsi. Like Pepsi. I'll try. He also threw out a couple recommendations of some yeah, soft drinks you. I haven't heard of, and recommended a few of his favorite pizzas. So we go for our dill pickle bacon. Okay. But uh, like the hot Hawaiian. My pizza. Is it? I don't like pineapple, so you lost me there. Okay. Okay. How's the all meat? All meat treat. Okay. I'm gonna get a. I'll go with a small all meat. Yeah, please. So while reading the menu, I found out that all their dough for their pizza is actually upcycled from the hops from their brewery. That's pretty dope. So after ordering the pizza, it arrived in about 12 freaking minutes. That's super fast. From sit down to eating, I was about 50 minutes total. That's amazing. We're going to win this year, man. This is the year. Are you? He then noticed my hat. We decided to chat about football for a little bit. We got talking about this season and who's going to win. And I had a great conversation, actually. And, of course, the Bills are going to win this year. It's a no-brainer. Thank you so much. I will. First glance at this pizza looks absolutely freaking delicious. It's crispy, no flop. Like, look at it. It looks freaking delicious. And after this first bite, it is freaking delicious. I actually really enjoy this pizza. The dough is different. It's unique. It's got its own little taste and flavor. I actually kind of enjoy it. So I finished half my pizza, asked for a box, and he brought the box and asked if I wanted the bill and a machine right away. That's great service. I love it when they bring the bill and the machine at the same time. You can't get any better than that because when you want to go, you just want to go. So now it's time for my review. I am going to go with four stars on this restaurant. I would do 4.5, but it won't allow it, so four stars it is. My one major complaint with this restaurant was the parking or the lack thereof, and you had to pay for parking. I feel if they had better parking situation, I would have rated them to hire for sure. Sure, I did have a great experience. The parking was because I had to drive around for about five minutes before to look for a spot. That was my major complaint about this one. Everything else was great, and I'll definitely be back here to try another pizza or have some beers.